There is a secret hidden in the scriptures of old, folks. In fact, there's loads of them. And this one that I want to share with you today, this has the power to change everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been hidden in plain sight for over 2,000 years. But when you understand the meaning of this, when you understand why this one scripture appears 120 times in the King James Version of the Bible, you understand the importance of it. And folks, we're about to discover it, we're about to learn all about it, and we're about to change your life forever. So come on, let's kick straight on into it. Hi folks, welcome to Elevate for Another Day. My name is Ben. It's such a blessing to have your company. So thank you for tuning in. I hope that you go away from today feeling uplifted and encouraged and inspired to move forward into your own promised land. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel too, folks. I'm here every day of the week. I never miss a day. There's, there's 800 or more videos on the channel available to you right now. So browse and have a look around. I'm sure you will find something that speaks to you. But today, today's about one of my favorite things to talk on. I love finding these little nuances in ancient texts. I love finding these little passages of scriptures, these little unusual things that so often when we read them, we read straight past them and yet it's these little nuances, it's the simple things. They sometimes make such an incredibly powerful difference when you think about what it really means. And so if you've ever read through scriptures, if you've ever read through any of the Old Testament, you will have read many, many times over. In fact, like I said at the start, this appears 120 times in the King James Version of the Bible, starting in Genesis, the very first book. How many times have we read, And it came to pass that the army of the Lord went and had victory. And it came to pass that the children of Israel were delivered into their promised land. And it came to pass that the wilderness did not last forever. Can you notice What's similar in all of these? Can you notice where this is going? And it came to pass that the goodness of the Lord and his favor endured forever. And it came to pass that they saw the promise of God. It came to pass. It came to pass. Have a think about that, but hang with me because I know this seems simple and it seems a little bit esoteric at the same time. But believe me when I tell you, this will hold water. See, there's a reason why the words, and it came to pass, prefix so many stories in the Old Testament. It's not just a turn of phrase. We even use it today. And this came to pass, and that came to pass. But do we understand what we're saying? Because this secret alone shows us how to move forward. This one simple nuance in the scriptures declares that what we experience today, all of the hurt, the pain, the anguish, the stress, all of the things that don't make sense, the season that is painful, the season that keeps you up at night, the season that keeps you worried, the season that feels like it's a never-ending cycle of dysfunction upon dysfunction, it came into your life. And it came into your life just for one reason, that reason is for it to pass. It's not staying. See, we like to think and dwell on the fact that the dysfunction of today will be with us forever. Our human mind says that the childhood we went through and all of the things that hurt us, that will be with us forever. The human mind says all of the stress and the pressure of the life we experience today, it's going to be that way forever. That's just my lot in life. I'm just unlucky. I never seem to have enough. I'm always unlucky in love. Whatever it is, it has come for one reason. It's come to pass, but it's so much deeper than that. See, if this season just dawned upon you and entered into your experience, just so it could sweep through like a hurricane and turn the whole house upside down and then leave you in a state of disrepair, that's not it at all. The promise of God dwells within you. You are moving forward to your expected end. 
to your brighter tomorrow, your better future, the dreams you have in your heart, they're purposed for you to make manifest. It's in going through life's seasons that we become who we need to become so that we are a faithful custodian of that blessing. And not just so that we're a good steward of it, but so we can live in the fullness and the magnitude of the incredible blessing that it is. How would you ever really and truly appreciate wealth and abundance if you haven't experienced lack in your life? Have you ever had a toothache? And you've had a toothache and it's hurt so much that you've thought, man, I will never, ever take for granted not having a toothache ever again. Have you ever stubbed your toe? Have you ever been having a hot shower and the hot water's run out? And you think to yourself, oh man, I'll never take hot water for granted ever again. What it brings is contrast. See, if life just knocked upon your doorstep and turned the whole house upside down and then left you in a mess... That would be the cruelest joke ever played on humanity. But life seasons don't come just to disrupt you for disruption's sake. They come to deposit within you little nuggets of gold, little pearls and gems, wisdom that you need to grow and to move forward and to become who you will be in your end result. In the result that you're shooting for, the promised land you hope to inhabit. And our job in all of this is to understand two things. We've got to keep a big picture view and understand that right where we are, what, right where we are, I'll learn to talk one day, is right where we are supposed to be. The picture mightn't be finished, but it's beautiful. When you can sit in the pocket of where you are and be okay with that, the seasons of life, even the damaging ones, you intrinsically begin to find the value in them. And this is the second thing we've got to do. We have got to become life's filter. So what do I mean by that? Have you ever watched programs on the TV? There used to be one that showed here where I live. Uh, it was called Alaskan Gold or Alaskan Gold Fever or something. Anyway, it was a reality show where they followed prospectors going and digging up gold. It was really quite an entertaining show to watch. And it would follow the fortunes of these prospectors as they bet their whole future on a plot of land and they'd take their equipment out and they would go mining and they'd dig up all of these great big piles of earth and they'd put them through a machine that sifted and shook out all of the dirt and the rocks and the jagged edges and the manure and the rubbish that isn't required until what was left in the bottom of the pan was pure gold. It filters the rubbish to leave the gold. Ladies and gentlemen, Seasons don't come to stay and destroy you. Seasons come to pass and pass through you. And as they pass through you, you can extract all of the value from them by being the filter. By filtering out the nuggets of gold that are in that season. And you might say to me, Ben, I'm in the midst of this heartbreak. There's no gold here. I can tell you that there is. There absolutely is. It's somewhere. Your job is to find it. Your job is to go within, to keep doing your inner work, to focus on balancing out your energy, becoming stable and gaining some perspective in this season that seems tough, and to understand that one day this too will be a memory. This too shall pass. That's the promise of God. Before it goes, amidst all of the hurt and heartache, amidst all of the pain and dysfunction, you be the filter. You filter out the nuggets of gold. The seasons of life come to pass, but not just to leave a mess. There's gold in them there hills, ladies and gentlemen. There's gold in them hills. You be the filter. You dig those wells, you find those nuggets of gold. And when someone gives you an opportunity to be heard, when someone comes and gives you an opportunity to take offence, you stay in your power, stay in your lane, keep moving forward. There is promise on the inside of you. There is a destiny for you to fulfill. You've got to filter and sift out all of the dirt and the imperfections and the rocks and the jagged edges and the litter and rubbish and trash until all that is left is the gold. And then you take that gold and you move into the next season of your life and you take that gold with you. And you are furnished with that gold for the next season because you can't get to the next season without the currency to be in the next season. Where you're going, you need currency. 
There are skills on the inside of you you need to develop. There are mindsets that need to change. There's a spirit that needs to awaken and lead you forward. That's the currency of tomorrow's season. That's the season where your dreams come true. You need currency. The currency is the gold of today's dysfunction. You be the filter. There's secrets like this hidden through all these scriptures. And we read them and we read past them and we read and it came to pass that this happened. And we think about what happened, not the fact that it came to pass. But if it came to pass, it entered with a purpose. It's passing through. It's not staying. Find the gold. Filter it out. Extract it. Mine it and bank it because that is your currency for your promised land. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this has encouraged you. I hope it's blessed you. If it has, make sure you leave me a comment and a thumbs up. Think of someone that you can share this with. Pay it forward. You never know what's hiding behind a smile. You never know what people are going through. Stand beside someone. But folks, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Join the community we're building here. Come back and see me tomorrow. I love you. Peace.